Welcome to the Roaming Ventures channel. This is just gonna be a channel of all my interests. It's gonna be from conversions to different projects to motorcycles, skateboarding, just anything and everything. And so this first series that I'm launching on the channel is gonna be the Humvee Rebuild series. Hope you guys enjoy. Adventures with my old man are some of my favorite memories. We've had a handful of them. In this case, I somehow talked him into <laughs> loading up all the tools and driving down to South Florida so we can actually check out this Humvee in person. In a quarter mile, turn left. Arrive. There it is. So yeah, we're coming to check out a 1991 M997 Hummer. I found this thing, you know, obviously I do a lot of custom Hummers yeah. and stuff and I came across this one and it's just super unique and I don't know, I don't want to cut it up too much, but yeah. it still works just like it would have in the military, you know, it's got the little sliding seat. The only thing it's actually missing is the one strap, but all the bunks and stuff work and it's pretty cool. It's not bad actually. It's done little things like that, but it's just been sitting around, you know. Have a separate 12 volt electrical system. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, 1428. But in a lot of our um, original, like when we do Duramax conversions and everything, we switch. So exciting to kind of see this shell and what this could potentially be. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of decisions to make. Uh, got to run through all the checklists that we did, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So uh, I went ahead and made the purchase. We got it. We have the Hummer. Uh, the one issue that we ran into is the brake was actually grabbing on the back side and he's nice enough. He has a whole bunch of Hummers around the area and we actually got the whole caliper set off of it. So before we drive it back to Jacksonville, uh, I'm gonna get in there and replace the whole calipers on the back of the Hummer right now. So right here is, this is a frame that they have on the property, but see the, the disc brakes are actually in the back of the frame. So I've actually got to access this part of it right here and then be able to release the caliper to get down underneath. We'll get it swapped. Hopefully it'll only take like a few hours and then uh, we'll be heading north. So quick update, uh, we got the calipers out of here. We did break the brake line on the driver's side. Um, so we'll need to figure that out. But now we're gonna start to reassemble um, at least just the passenger side and get that back up in there. Uh, it's kind of a tight space, so it's hard to see, but um, making progress. It's not dark yet, so that's always a good sign. And you know what? You always got to start your first day underneath of whatever you're building. Otherwise, it's uh, it's not legit. <laughs> it's 
very tedious. We got one side done. Uh, now we got to redo the brake line and then get the other caliper up. This is definitely uh, something new that we've had to learn how to do. So now that we got that side done, hopefully it should go a little faster. But uh, also check out how sick his shop is. Look, he's got the mud and truck, got projects everywhere. But the tank. If that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen, I don't even know what you think is cool. So we just wrapped up at their shop. Big thanks to Adam and Parker for helping us out. Uh, just finishing it all up. We got it road ready now. We finished the brake calipers, went through all the fluids, uh, checked all the tires, got set up with new tires and extra parts. So uh, now we're about to make the trek back to Jacksonville. Uh, hopefully smooth sailing. Yeah. Not quite sure what to do. Yeah. 